Hey guys, Ben here from Velflex. Now today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to calibrate your SDX auto clamp. I'm gonna teach you how to calibrate your pressure as well as your temperature. Now guys, temperature is really important. All heat presses need to be checked and calibrated every so often. So I'm gonna take you through how to do that. Now, a couple of things you'll need. First off, you'll definitely want a T-shirt. If you've got a temperature gun like this, okay, we can look at using one of these, and I'm gonna show you how, but you will need a T-shirt. You can also use something like this. Now, this is something we've made up with a little prong here, but you can buy something like this from J-Car. It's a temperature gauge um, recorder here. It's got a little um, coupling and pretty much you're able to hold it against the middle of the hot plate and it'll give you a reading right there okay and we've just made it up with a bit of timber here so that and taped it to it so that we can hold it and it doesn't get too hot for our hands but first off guys I'm gonna show you right now if we're looking at this heat press and we want to calibrate it for what we need to do is we need to see at what temperature it is right now now it's set at 152 on the actual gauge right here okay I'm gonna take this t-shirt right here and let's just say we're calibrating it with our temp gun because these a lot of people have these here okay I'm gonna put a t-shirt down and the reason being is a lot of people think let's calibrate to the top metal, okay? The actual heat plate itself, if you're using the temp gun to the top metal, it can be a little varied, okay? So guys, we do know that there's a bit of a difference between the real temp and what these guns do onto the top metal. So what we're now recommending is when you do want to check with one of these, clamp it down, do a heat press into your t-shirt, and then as soon as the top plate pops up, be checking the temperature on your t-shirt. And you'll find if you're getting, if I'm set this at 150 and I'm getting 145, that's the thing on the t-shirt, I know I'm pretty bang on because it drops pretty quickly, 145, 140, 135, 130, as that top plate has been heated. It's still dropping the five degrees every second or so. And you'll see that on your temp gun here. And if I'm getting 145 on the t-shirt, and it's set at 150, I know that I'm pretty much bang on. So guys, that's the, the way to do it. Now, it's now telling me 148 on this. I'm gonna lock that down. I'm gonna get my gun ready, okay? And here, as it pops up, sure it's popped up. I'm just checking my temps and I've got 125 on there. So what I'm thinking to myself is my top plate is a little bit cold, okay? So we're gonna increase that, right? So what we're gonna do, we're going to turn this heat press off. Here's the main switch button, okay? Now with the main power turned off, what I need to do is I need to hold in the minus and the plus buttons, okay? So I hold them in. With my other hand, I turn the main power switch on, okay? Now what comes up is the letter C, okay? Now this is here where we also, we can change from Celsius or Fahrenheit as well, okay? But obviously we'll leave it on Celsius and what we do is we hit the mode button. Now when we hit the mode button again, what it's now showing is the temperature it thinks it's at, okay? Now, just a second ago, we got 125. So I reckon this press is around about the 130 mark. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop this press down and I'm gonna drop it to say 135, okay? I'm gonna click enter and I'm gonna go through the settings all the way until the lights go off. Bottom one obviously flashed and now it's telling me 134. Cool, all right. So what we've got is this heat press is now telling me it's at 134, okay? I'm just gonna have a quick, see, 134. I'm just gonna have a quick check. I've got this heat press set to 150. So it's gonna try to heat up to that 150 degree mark, okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna drop it down to 140 so we don't get too hot. Okay, so it's at 135 right now. And again, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my temp gun, lock it in. And I've got my gun ready, my laser ready, so I'm reading temperatures live, and it's gonna pop up. 132 is what I got it shining right there. If I'm getting 132 on the fabric right here, and I've got 136 on my press, I'm pretty comfortable that, like that's only four degrees difference, and I'm sure this here is a little bit less than the metal itself. As soon as that pops up, there's a little bit of, you know, cooling down that happens. I'm really comfortable that that, a top plate is now calibrated to what's being displayed on the front here. As this is going up, it's now 139, obviously. Cool, so it's heating up, it's now heated up to 140. Let's do it again and just check. So I'm gonna lock that down. And what I'd be expecting to see is around about that 135 on the gun. Cool, 
135, there we go. So it was 142, 135 really quickly. And I've got 141 on the reading. Guys, I'm really happy that that press here is really, it's calibrated to the temperature that it says that it is. Okay, so guys, that's the way to do it with the gun. With the actual unit that you get here, now like I said, J car, something like that. Again, you'll see it's got a little metal uh, point at all it is is a wire effectively and it's a wire that you could hold up against the base We've just taped it to a bit of wood so that it's easier to hold Okay, and you effectively just put the end of the metal onto your top plate and as you can see it's heating up, okay? Now it takes a little bit to actually get up to temp There's a little bit slower in terms of its process, but Temp probes like this are very, they're much more accurate to actually touching to the top plate and getting up to temperature and giving you an accurate reading. So guys, my recommendation is using one of these, okay? Definitely get down to J-Car and grab one of those. Um, definitely worth it, but if you have a gun, okay, use it on a bit of fabric that's on your bottom plate to sort of calibrate what's the temperature on the t-shirt as soon as that top plate pops up. That's gonna give you a much more accurate reading using one of these infrared guns. Now guys, now we wanna talk about um, pressure calibration, okay? So guys, pressure calibration. How do we start? Exactly the same way as we did before with the um, turning the machine off. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna turn the machine off here on the side Okay, so we've down powered and we're going to hold our small minus and plus buttons. With the other hand, we're going to turn it on. Okay, it's going to come up with a Celsius, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to use, press the mode button and we're going to keep pressing through. So I'm going to press it once, we're going to press it a second time and what we've now got is 555. When we see the 555, press the plus button. Cool, we press the plus button once and now see we've had this pressure gauge change to one. We're gonna press the plus button one more time. Okay, and now it's flashing. Okay, now what we're doing, we're in setting mode to set what is the minimum pressure? What is pressure at number one? Now guys, we've got to set that on this machine. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come down and lock it in. Okay, I need to screw this back. Okay, and what we wanna find is a pressure. Now I'm gonna use a t-shirt here so that, cause this top plate is quite hot. Okay, see how I can twist it? See how when I've, I've locked it down, but this top plate, there's, there's not a lot of pressure at all. In actual fact, I want a little bit more than that because that's, that's moving too easily. Okay, so we just pop it up, screw down a little bit more. Again, grabbing our T-shirt, grabbing the corners, and you wanna feel resistance, but you do wanna be able to just slightly swivel that top plate, okay? So I can swivel it, but there's a little bit of resistance. In other words, I know the top plate is now making contact with the bottom plate. It's pushing together, but not very much. It's, it's a light, very light pressure. That is a one, okay? What we're gonna do, we're now gonna press the plus button to confirm that this is one pressure. So we click it. Okay, now it's changed to nine. What it's wanting us to do, it's wanting us to set maximum pressure. Okay, now to unlock this, to unlock the magnet, because it's holding it down, we press the minus button. Cool, see how it's just popped up? Excellent. Now, to get maximum pressure, we need to do one and a half turns clockwise. Okay, so if we took a texter, or we've got a mark on there, I use my finger sort of thing, I'm going to turn this one and a half times, okay? so. We're gonna go all the way around, and there's grooves in this top cap, so I can actually see exactly how far I've gone. Okay, there we go. I've done this one and a half turns, okay? Full rotations. Now, I've locked that down, okay? And it's a tough, that was a really tough lock-in, but the magnet is holding. That is our maximum pressure. That is nine, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the plus button again. Cool. We've got a solid nine. That's now confirmed. This is the pressure of maximum pressure of nine. To unlock it, we can always just press the minus button. That will release the magnet. You can feel how much pressure there was there for that nine. What we do now, guys, is we just get out of the menu mode. So obviously we're still showing 555. Press mode, press the mode again, and keep going until we're back to our real temperature, we don't have any of these side lights, and we've got a zero showing here. Obviously zero being 
no pressure at all. What we want to do guys is we want to just check this because obviously I've set this as maximum pressure. Let's see, is that locked in at nine? And it has, so that's locked in, nine, that's our maximum pressure, okay? If I was to screw this back, oh, there we go. As I screw it back, I've now got a five and screwing a little bit further, I'm now down to a one. Guys, that is exactly how we calibrate an STX. It's how we do the temperature. It's also how we calibrate pressure for our minimum pressure as well as our maximum pressure on a AutoClam Hotronics STX unit.